sea level 74 degrees. Hello, welcome back to Hack a Week TV. We are back this week with an episode featuring yet another parallax electronics module. This week we'll talk about the altimeter module. The altimeter module can tell you the altitude, the barometric pressure, and the temperature. So we'll take a look at some demo spin code in the parallax serial terminal window and uh, we'll talk about how it gets connected to the Board of Education and also how to connect it to a uh, parallax serial LCD, a two-line LCD, so we can get a nifty little readout here of the altitude and the temperature. Let's get started. There it is, the parallax altitude module plugged into the breadboard on the Board of Education. We have a 9-volt battery powering everything up here. We also have the uh, parallax two-line LCD, the 2x16 LCD with the backlight on connected up and our altitude is 459.97 feet fluctuating slightly. Temperature is 74.33 degrees here at the Hack-A-Week bench. So the connections on this, uh, the LCD is about the same connections, exactly the same connections as the compass module was. There's a ground connection here there's a 5 volt connection over here on the 5 volt rail and one connection for communication on pin number 2. Really simple hookup on that. The compass module plugs in on the breadboard and gets power and ground. It gets power from the 3.3 uh, 3 volt rail right there and also ground and the communication lines are on pins 6 and 4. There's a complete diagram on hackaweek.com on the uh, project page for this video. I will put that in the uh, video description of course as always. So let's take a look now at some of the demo code that you can download from the Parallax website for this nifty little altitude module. So here's the familiar propeller tool window. We have the altimeter propeller dot spin program open at the moment. Right here where it says start alt, uh, we have to put in our current altitude in feet. And I looked that up on the USGS website. You just find your location, your town. You do it by zip code, I think, town, state, whatever. Find your altitude and put that number in there when you demo this. And that is your baseline where you zero out at and everything up and down from there will read out of course in the parallax serial terminal window. This uses two objects parallax serial terminal and the alt which is the 29124 altimeter module. So here's the code for it. It's basically going to just read the altitude in meters and in feet. We're sending a command to do that right here uh, alt dot altitude and that is get the current altitude. So let's upload that to the Board of Education. And we have it here on my desktop plugged in to the USB port. We need to look at the results of this in the terminal, serial terminal window. So let's uh, enable that. And we'll clear it out. And there are indeed the data coming from. the module. Let's lift it up in the air a little bit and see how that changes. I'm going higher now. I've got a short USB cable so I can't go too far but 461 feet. If I go down to the floor it drops down to 457. So it's a fairly sensitive little device. So that's uh, the serial terminal window for that particular program. Now let's take a look at one more here real quick. Let's go back to the propeller tool. Uh, I think I have one here that will show us the temperature too. Uh, here it is. This is the altimeter demo that's also on the Parallax website under the uh, demo programs. So now we've uploaded that. Let's go back to the serial terminal window, enable, and clear. Let's see what we get there now. Hmm, we don't have anything. Why is that? Oh, 
because our baud rate's not set right. We need to be at the same baud rate as the code, 9600. There we go. Now we have something to look at. We have the uh, readout here of the temperature, the barometric pressure, and the altitude in feet. So we can do all three at once. So that's another little demo. Now let's get over to that uh, LCD stuff that I did. Here's the one I did for the LCD, and uh, it's very similar to what I did with the one for the compass module. I took that demo code, and everywhere it said PST, I substituted LCD, and in the object section, I have LCD, which is the full duplex serial spin object, rather than the uh, serial terminal window, and of course, any place where it said PST in the program, I had to substitute LCD, which I've done here. And then I formatted it pretty much the same way I did for the compass module a few weeks ago. And now we'll upload that to the Board of Education. And we have the LCD connected. So let's take a look at what the readout is on that. And there's our code displaying the altitude in feet. And let's uh, let's go a little bit mobile with this now. We'll raise it up in the air a little bit. As we go up, you'll see the altitude change. I am now reaching up as high as I can above my head, 462 feet. Let's go down to the floor. And we are at 456 feet here by Sophie's nose. So that's uh, just the basic altitude readout on the LCD. So there you have it, a demonstration of altitude reading out on the uh, parallax two-line LCD from the altitude module. We know that it can do temperature as well, right? So how about reading that out? Well, here's the code for that. We had to make a little, few little changes here and there instead of... Uh, in the pub section, this little A right here, which refers to this command, alt altitude, that's part of the altimeter object. Over here on the temperature, we had to put T because that refers to alt dot current temp. Uh, when we call up current temp, it's going to get the current temperature for us, as you see right there. And then we will print the string temperature and then we will get the temperature in Fahrenheit and print it on the LCD. Let's upload that and take a look at that demo. And there it is, the current temperature, 77.21 degrees Fahrenheit. What if I uh, touch the sensor with my thumb? What happens? Look at that, it warms up pretty fast. And then if I blow on it a little bit, it cools back down. So there's the temperature reading out on the LCD. What if we want to see altitude and temperature? Do you think we can do that? Well, we sure can. Let's take a look at the code for that. So if we want to look at temperature and altitude, of course we need to reformat things a little bit to fit into that 2 by 16 LCD. So here's the altimeter temperature code. I had to add that A and T here in the uh, pub section. And there are two commands down here, alt.altitude and alt.currentTemp. And since I couldn't really fit everything with the complete words, I've abbreviated altitude with ALT and I've abbreviated temperature with TEMP. And then uh, just put it on two lines, which is what's on the LCD. So let's upload that to the Board of Education and take a look at what that looks like. And there it is, two lines on the LCD. Altitude, 459 feet. Temperature, 77.23 degrees. So you could do a similar thing like I was talking about with the compass module with this. You could uh, set this up with a propeller chip and its supporting components and the LCD and put this in your car. But you remember you have to program in wherever your base altitude is so it makes it a little tricky for a mobile device. 
But if you were to do something like data logging with a helicopter or quadcopter, you could start out with your current altitude where you're standing on the ground and uh, fly it up in the sky and maybe set this up with uh, a wireless module and uh, watch the readout or data log it. Which is exactly what we'll be doing in another video pretty soon with some XB modules in the Board of Education. Okay, now you know the altitude and temperature of the Hack-A-Week workbench. So there it is, the uh, Parallax Electronics Altitude Module. A pretty neat little device. Very tiny, easy to mount up on uh, a breadboard to experiment with or mount in your favorite robot or quadcopter for data logging or just a readout on an LCD if you wanted to do such a thing. And like I mentioned, I will be trying that very thing pretty soon with a quadcopter. Where is that thing? Ah, this. This is going to be fun. This is coming up in uh, the few months ahead. It's going to take me a little while to build this. I need to get some more stuff to go with it. But all of these goodies will eventually get mounted on the quadcopter for a test bed, and we'll have some fun seeing just how high in the sky we can get. And we'll look at the readouts here and temperature and all that stuff, and it'll be a lot of fun. So be sure to stay tuned for that. And until next time, well, you know the line. Keep on hacking.